All right, so this is my boiled sugar. I just put it in the in this thing because I couldn't do that with my hands with on the camera. But uh, all you have to do after that is add one teaspoon of diammonium phosphate and urea to the sugar. That is yeast food, or yeah, yeast food. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then uh, the reason you boil the sugar is because when it's crystallized, there's sugar inside of sugar. So you have to boil it to break down the surface area so that the yeast can actually get to all of it quickly. Because if you, it can't get to all of it, it it's not going to ferment quickly. It's going to, oh, well, this bag is super sealed, so I'm going to put it on the camera. Like, uh, I just got it. It's like weird sealed, not just zip up. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to cut this. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's why I boil the sugar, though. So that you can get, so the yeast can get to all of it as quickly as possible. So I'm pouring myself a teaspoon right now. Sorry, you can't see it. All right. I didn't get a full teaspoon. And uh, if you if you don't want to buy diammonium phosphate and urea straight up, you can buy a mixture like I did, and it's just yeast nutrient. Put it in your sugar, and then stir it up. I don't know why I didn't just do that just now. and then pour the mixture into your gallon. You might lose a little bit, but that's fine. I'm gonna add raisins later. You might wanna add fruit at this time. I don't have the raisins yet, I'm waiting for them in the mail. You can add stuff and not worry about bad stuff happening in between days. Not a big deal. Alright, so now what I've got here is sugar and yeast nutrient and a jug. I've got more at the bottom of here. I'll wash it out in a minute and dump it into there. That's non-broken down sugar. And then uh, I'll show you the last step in a minute.